here we are. One of my favorite charts on planet Earth. Your boy, Bitcoin. If you bought Bitcoin, one, one singular Bitcoin at 30,000 and you wrote up to 40,000, that is a $10,000 move per coin, which simply means you buy one, it moves up $10,000. You make 10,000 more US dollars to your overall net worth. What's interesting is that's why I began to trade crypto. Simply dollar for dollar, it moves exactly like stocks, which means you don't have to be afraid of it. If you're watching this video, you probably know second grade math. And really that's all wealth is. Wealth is second grade math repeated over and over and over consistently. So when it comes to cryptocurrencies, what I do is I take an amount of money that I'm okay to lose. If it goes to zero, my family can eat. It's not going to stress me out. If it goes to zero, I don't have to worry about it. However, it is my personal belief, and it's been my personal belief on the internet since 2015, that Bitcoin will never go to zero. In fact, if you're watching this video post-2026, it's already above 100,000. And if you're watching this video pre-2026, well, if it's not at 100,000, maybe you should buy some because it's going there. It's not an if, it is simply a when. I am here to tell you as one of the foremost experts in Bitcoin trading that it will go higher over time. It's just a math formula. Limited supply, increasing demand, higher price. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna show you how to trade these things and we're not gonna look at just Bitcoin. We're going to look at and analyze some other charts so that you can learn how to visually interpret properly the volume of these incredible assets. First and foremost, what you want to do is you want to hang out on the weekly chart. And the weekly chart is going to give you that really big, beautiful overview of what the particular asset's doing. Let's go check out an asset that I really, really like trading. This one's known as Polygon. Polygon is also MATIC, M-A-T-I-C-U-S-D. Also, fun fact, when you are typing in a cryptocurrency into TradingView, make sure you look at the exchange that you're selecting. You want the exchange that you're selecting to match the exchange that you're actually trading. The exchanges will be found right here. So Matic, you can get it on Euronext, Binance, Coinbase, Bybit, KuCoin, Crypto, whatever the heck this is, and Kraken. So click on Coinbase if you're actually trading it on Coinbase. Now, here on the weekly chart, what we're going to notice is something pretty simple. Matic is balanced off of 50 cents a lot. Now, when I say it's balanced off of 50 cents, let's just do a really quick math formula. Back in June of 2022, it hits 50 cents and it trades up to a dollar. That's a 100% return. Yeah, it happens a lot on these small positions. So again, imagine you put $5,000 into a Coinbase account. Keeping in mind that Coinbase is FDIC insured, just like your bank account. That means you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be panicked about putting your money into crypto. What you should avoid doing at all costs is never, ever, ever, ever send me Bitcoin on an Instagram DM, a Telegram DM, a Twitter DM, or any DM anywhere ever, because I'm never going to tell you. I'm never going to reach out to you and say, hey, uh, send me three Bitcoin and magically in an hour, I'll send you six. Love you. Bye. It's not me. It's a scammer from Nigeria or maybe Madagascar. Don't send that person money. Back to the charts. On Matic or any other crypto, really have a big zoom out because what you want to do is you want to see, is it in an absolutely diabolical downward trend or is there some structure to it? <laughs> what do I mean by diabolical bearish trend? Well, let's go look at one really quick, a symbol protocol. How do you know about a symbol protocol? Uh, let's not talk about it. So a symbol protocol, I bought it here at 18 cents <laughs> and it went zoo, all the way down 95%. So a symbol protocol got absolutely trashed. And this downward trend, this power down trend is going to take a long time to recover. So when would you have known that this extremely strong downward trend might recover? Well, that's where volume comes into play. Check out this volume spike right there in July of 2023. Volume is a real thing on crypto, just like anything else. And if you start seeing a huge volume spike after a an asset or a crypto or a stock is down significantly, you probably should start watching it because here on that particular volume spike, we're just going to go look at what happens based on all the moving averages. 
what I use is I use five moving averages, the 10, 20, 50 exponential moving average and the 100, 200 simple moving average. I then alternate between the weekly chart, daily chart, and sometimes the monthly chart to see if there's any spacing in between those moving averages, compare that to volume, find a really good breakout, and then take that trade. So I'm gonna pop into a weekly chart and look at my 10, 20, and 50 exponential moving average. What I'm gonna notice first and foremost, huge, huge bullish volume. In fact, the second, or well, let's call it the third largest bullish buying volume on this particular asset in a very, very long time. And it has a huge upper shadow. So what I'm gonna simply say is, all right, huge upper shadow. There's some selling people, there's some people who bought there that are really excited. And also, just, just in case you're wondering, that particular pop on a one week, that is a 59% return. So at the very beginning of the video, when I mentioned that you can make 10% a week, uh, that wasn't clickbait, that was serious. These things move a lot. All right, cool. So a simple protocol, uh, huge upper shadow. That is some people selling, taking profits. I mean, it's up 60% in a week. Who doesn't take profits at 60% in a week? You draw a line there and you got some resistance over here. You got some old support and new resistance over here. And you got this 50 EMA on the weekly chart. All I'm going to do is just kind of press play just so you can kind of see the interaction with this upper shadow and this 50. Because once the symbol protocol starts interacting with that price, check out what it did. I mean, this move right here is sensational. And again, if you're saying, how could you have predicted the move? Well, the initial volume spike there, one, two, three bull candles on a weekly chart. Have I talked about a strategy recently where you get three bull candles in a row and you can expect to pull back? I feel like I have. If you haven't watched that video, it's right there. You get three strong buying candles on a weekly chart. You get the retest into the 50 presently here, which was 0 0.0172. If you had bought on that particular week, bang, off of a prior old resistance new support and it popped up, it popped up 36% in a week. And we're not talking about minimal volume here. We're talking 127 million coins, which means, hey, if you bought 3,000 of them, and you bought them at a penny, that's not gonna cost very much money. And it pops 10, 15% and you sell it, hey, you're increasing your US dollar holdings. That's the point of crypto. In my opinion, for a lot of traders out there is you're gonna to wanna to increase your US dollar holdings. The US dollar is awesome and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. And if it does, we're gonna have a lot more to worry about then you not clicking the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. What are you doing? Why, why are you watching this video and not doing that? This is mindless to me. It's free, it's simple. Do that, thank you. And while we're here on this chart, while we're talking about volume, I also wanna discuss this really amazing decline in volume right here. This decline in volume when a asset crypto stock is trading sideways, that create a pennant pattern. And what's really fascinating is if we zoom in here, again, on a weekly chart, you will notice something really cool. This explosion happens between the 10 and 20 on the weekly that was acting as support right up into the 50 EMA on a weekly chart that was acting as resistance. Oh, and that move, you already know, 43% in a week. These assets are crazy and they move so, so much. And I love just being a part of their general movement. Now let's look at what a symbol protocol eventually did. And we did get a really, really nice squeeze after this Tw uh, two cent move, now it's at seven cents. So from two to seven, awesome, awesome move. I did not partake in any of that upward movement. I'm just analyzing this for you. And I will always tell you what I do trade and what I do make money on. So let's go do that now. Matic, <laughs> oh, come on. So Matic US dollar. I wanna walk you through a trade that I really, really just enjoyed. And I'm gonna show you the long-term moving average. So this long-term moving average, this blue line, you've probably seen it on tons of my charts. In fact, it's even in my kid's book. This strategy is so easy. I've seen a pigeon make money using it. You pull up the 100 simple moving average on a weekly chart and you use it as support or you use it as resistance. And on Matic right here, check it out. Bink, bink. Perfectly timed resistance twice. Now, what does that mean for you and your trading? Well, again, this is the weekly time frame. What I'm gonna do to make it really clean for you is I'm gonna draw a line here. There we go. And I'm gonna delete these other two arrows. Then I'm gonna zoom into a daily chart and I'm just gonna kind of show you what the volume looked like on a daily chart and how you could have looked to analyze that particular trade. So here we go. First and foremost, now we have the 100 and the 200 simple moving average on the screen for the daily chart. I really have always loved using these two particular moving averages. 
If we're looking at Matic and we see the consolidation here in between the 100 and 200, you have a consolidation effect, you have the sideways move, you have the breakout, and just like we talked about on a symbol protocol, good close above a moving average, a bunch of bull candles in a row, you get the retest. If you're buying this retest at 70 cents, right? 70 cents per coin, you're buying that pullback and it runs up into the 100, that's 38% return in a week and a half. Maybe I undercut it in the video I said 10%. The point is, these things move that frequently. And if you have five, 10, 20, $30,000 into this position, and you're just boom, 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 10% here, 10% there, 10% here, 10% there, that 30,000 can very, very quickly grow into 90. But more importantly, shoot, you know what? If you're trading with $30,000 and you make a 10% return, that's $3,000. That's a mortgage payment for 95% of the people watching this video. And that's an amazing opportunity to create cash flow for you and your family. That's the point of real life trading is helping people understand how to navigate markets profitably, consistently, so that you can create more wealth for you and for your family. So on Matic, you had that really nice move. I did play that. And then here was a cute little double bottom. Boom, 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 boom. You got the neckline close here. So I'm gonna zoom in. By the way, did you know that I teach how to trade double bottoms totally for free? Yeah, just in case you didn't know, I have a whole course on it. It's reallifetrading.com. And you're gonna pop over here into the online courses. You're gonna click on the intermediate trading course. If it's still there, maybe I'll update the name. But if it is there, it's totally free. And it's a really fantastic breakdown of double bottom and double tops. So here is this double bottom on Matic. Big bear candle, retest. You get the close above it right there. Bull, 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 bull. So you get five bull candles in a row. I feel like there's a video. Five bull candles in a row, close above the neckline. So you can expect a retest into the neckline after this strong candle close above the neckline. There's your purchase orders again on Matic. Buying with a limit buy, this time around 78 cents. And check it out. It trades right up into the what? The 100 simple moving average on the weekly, which is that red line. And that was another 16, 17% banger. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Again, just simply using the same technical analysis that you know it works for stock. And what I've learned, I'm sorry I waited this long to tell you this in the video. What I've learned is that individuals react differently to stocks than they do to crypto because their brain doesn't have a lot of preconceived subconscious triggers and barriers related to crypto. In whatever, the third grade, maybe your uncle, your aunt, your grandma, your grandpa, your dad, your mom says something like, oh, anyone who trades the stock market, they're gambling, they're scummy, and they're terrible people. And that's somewhere planted in your subconscious. And so in your subconscious, you're saying, I don't want to be scammy. I don't want to be a bad person. I don't want to be a criminal. And therefore, you're not going to make any money trading stocks because if you make money trading stocks and you're going to do what? Well, you're going to proved yourself that all oh, this is all coming true and then it's a subconscious thing and you're going to just prevent it from happening. But they never say anything about the cryptocurrency market because it wasn't around. So I have noticed that traders who take a certain amount of money that they are comfortable losing and putting it into the crypto market, since you generally, this is what I do, never, ever trade crypto on margin. You just have your regular cash, you're buying your crypto, you're selling on a tire, you're getting in, you're getting out, you're staying nimble, you're staying quick, and you're peppering in 10% here and there every, I don't know, couple days, week or two, that's going to add up. Because what you have to imagine at some point is you have $100,000 and you're making 10% a week. Because could you trade $100,000 on Matic? Yeah. Look at this volume right here. I mean, on average, you're talking 12 million coins a day. 12 million coins and the coins almost a dollar, right? So let's call it 70 cents. So you're talking a really large sum of money. So your $100,000 isn't going to matter. It's not going to make a dent. You're not a whale. So don't worry about it. Pop in, pop out. And especially if you've already pulled out your overall profits, right? You put in 30,000 a year from now, you have 60,000, take 30,000 out, go buy a condo in Biscayne and then what else can you do? Well, you're good to go to now just play with house money. Congrats. Send a note to your CPA. Yo, dog, I might have to pay some taxes. Congratulations. 
You're not going to get a refund this year. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. You're going to have to pay into it. What? So now what's my thoughts on Matic presently? So Newsom, thank you for giving me all this long-term prior analysis. Now I'm going to show you what Matic is about to do. And when you're watching this video, you can do it or not. It's up to you. This is the daily chart. And Matic is going to hold 70 cents for a while. This is a very, very strong support on Matic because it's the 200 simple moving average on the daily chart and the weekly chart. Also, you've had a nice little pullback from a dollar eight. So we've had about a 36% pullback. What's going to happen for a while is very, very similar to this price action right there because history loves to repeat itself. And I'm now show I'm now going to show you a really, really cool tool that you can use on trading view to kind of figure out what something is going to do in the future. Click on this little uh, one, two, three, four, five, go into bars pattern, and you're going to select a pattern that looks similar to what's happening now. And I'm going to drag this little pattern over here. Bang. There we go. Which tells me that we are right around here based on this particular pattern. Now the one unique downside to this overall pattern, the uniqueness is that we have the 100 to battle a Matic and we did not have the 100 to battle over here, but it is my overall interpretation on this pattern and on this chart that we are going to get a quick little spike back up into the dollar region. And then we're gonna trade back down into this particular price, pretty similar to what happened over here. And then, yeah, maybe we have a gorgeous, gorgeous pump, you know, July of 2024. But what I can say is you're going to have some 10% movements on Matic to the upside in the next few weeks. So here's the daily chart and you're pinging and ponging between 70 cents and 80 cents. Guess what? That's a 10% return. Because if you take 70 cents and you go to 77 cents, that's it. Bing, 10% complete. Welcome to the party. All right, let's go look at two or three more just to make sure that you're convinced that volume is a very beautiful telling sign. Fun fact, like I've said in previous videos, you do not want huge bullish volume at a really, really strong high. That's not a breakout signal. That's you about to get trapped. That's the noobs. That's me in 2012, right? Buying silver at its highest price ever. I have the Guinness World Book of Record to prove it. I don't, but I should. On Ethereum, you have a huge, look at this, huge bullish volume. One of the largest bullish volumes that Ethereum had on January 10th. We pop up into 2,600 and some change with some of the biggest volume that Ethereum has had in months, if not years. And you bought there? Come on. Come on, Greg. What you doing, bro? You don't buy an asset after it's at a strong high, after a bunch of bullish volume comes in, that's not the time to buy. That's the time to sell. I'm sorry that you've learned wrong from all the other instructors that charge you probably hundreds of dollars to learn how to lose money. You wanna buy when big volume is at a low level and after a little bit of a retracement. Case in point, go study some other big volume spikes. For example, right here. If I zoom back into Ethereum really quick, and you notice a gorgeous volume spike right there after a bunch of buying in a row, what should you expect? Bull, 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 bull. You tired of me saying that? And then what happens? It consolidates and rests into the 200 simple moving average on the daily chart. I use the 100 and 200 simple moving average like you use toilet paper every single day, hopefully. So you retest the 200, big, big volume. So you, you avoid buying here you buy on a retest and more importantly than just avoiding buying really high, you avoid the price, the time, the amount of time it takes for you to recover a position because you don't have to freak out as much. You can buy at a lower level. And then what happens? You get a gorgeous pump and huge volume. And that huge volume, is that a great time to buy? Have we learned anything in class? Nope, that's not the time to buy. That's the time to lock in your profits. Huge run up right into 2,100 and some change, and then you have a gorgeous pullback. So if you're taking that exact, same, that exact same volume profile, that message, that learning, and that understanding, and you apply it to what just happened on Ethereum, what just happened on Bitcoin, and what happened on a few other cryptos, big, big volume spike, come over into here, 
big volume spike. We're getting the retracement. And so here is what's about to happen on Ethereum. You're going to get a retracement back up into these overall resistance levels right there. And that's going to be based on this particular volume bar. The open of strong bullish candles is very frequently an extremely strong support. We close below that support. So now old support will become new resistance. We'll hit our heads on that. And then we'll have one more little flash downwards into the 100 level around this 2147 price point. For me personally, if I can ever buy Ethereum at all twos, two, 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 period, two, two, I do. I'm always buying all twos. I'm a numbers guy. If it goes down to all ones, like it did you know, a year and a half ago, guess what your boy did? So this is what Ethereum is going to do in the near future. When it comes down to that 2100 level or the all twos level and you want to snag some, feel free to do so. And in my opinion, we're going to consolidate for a little bit. Then here on the weekly chart, we can analyze the volume. You had a beautiful volume spike. Volume has actually been increasing on this overall breakout, which is perfect. We've retested the 100, 200 here on the breakout. And we're going to chop around and let this moving average slowly catch up with price before we end up pumping back up into 2700 in the next few months. I'm just letting you know. Therefore, when you're trading cryptos, you're going to want to do the exact same analysis that I've been teaching everyone on the internet for free since 2014, moving averages, multiple time frames, combine them, spend time, study the charts, go in and out of different time frames, study the charts, use your moving averages, study the charts, use volume, use candles, buy low, sell high. I know I get it, but lock in your profits and use those profits to buy assets. That's what you're going to want to do. Those assets can be art. Those assets can be books. Those assets can be houses, land. You get it. Buy them with your income, with your money. Last but not least, I know everyone wants my thoughts on Bitcoin. Before I wrap up this, how to properly interpret volume in crypto, let's go to Bitcoin and we're going to click on the Coinbase exchange and notice how lovely Bitcoin pulls into that 100. 100 SMA on the daily chart, one of my second or third favorite moving average. This is when all the news comes out about the Bitcoin ETFs. You have the nice volume, the big drop. When you have bear volume at a resistance, generally it's real. So you have a nice little drop there. Good pullback in Bitcoin into, let's just call it 40,000, right? Nice, easy round number. And if you're buying off at 40,000, it is a matter of months before it hits 50, which is a $10,000 per coin move. And guess what? That will happen. So it's up to you on how much you buy, how long you hold and how patient you are. Is it going to go back below 40,000? Yes. Are you going to be able to call the bottom? No. If you buy any asset class, is it going to go a little bit lower than the price that you bought it? Yes. Hold your positions longer. Stop freaking out about every move. Stop panicking about every tick. If you're panicking, you're sweating, and you don't know what you're doing, you're buying too much. Buy with money that you can afford to lose. Leave it alone. Spend time studying these videos. Spend time studying the charts. And most importantly, spend time hitting that subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching How to Properly Interpret Volume in the Crypto Markets. My mission in life is to enrich lives. I hope you found this even remotely helpful. If it did, Post in the comment section below how I can pour more into your life and what I can do to bring ultimate value to your trading, to your family, to your bank account, to that net worth. And truly, it means a lot to me that you do subscribe to this channel because it shows me that you really want to accelerate your life, that you want financial freedom. If you want financial freedom, if you want peace, if you want comfort, if you want happiness, I have found those things. I know the exact path how to get there, and I want to make sure that you have them as well. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. You're amazing. Until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. Bye.